Y'all all messy. Y'all all are so messy. But we here. I got my doggy cane in here. And I got Mr. <laughs> One Tag J. Mr. Hey, oh my on, so. Oh my soul. She got me showing teeth in the building. <laughs> What's the deal? We here. I'm live in the flesh. First off, I'm gonna just say this. Thank you for the shout out. Thank you for the shout Thank out. Thank you for having me. You feel me? It's easy call. Socks and drawers. Socks and drawers. Socks and drawers. <laughs> Socks and drawers. Bitches don't be wearing no drawers sometimes, but we ain't gonna talk about that. You but, wear drawers? <laughs> um sometimes. Exactly. You pause. No, sometimes. you sometimes. You try to put everybody else on front street. You see how, come on. I got y'all back. <laughs> Not too much. First off, take that shot. Take the shot. I got him a full cup of and shot. He's dripping over and shit. It's yeah. filled to the take rim. Take that shot. Take that shot. So, y'all know. Well, if you don't know, now you know. One day I woke up. And I'm getting a million tags. I'm like, man, which one of these hoes is talking about me? And I'm, I'm tagged in one take Jake post. And I'm like, ah, shit, he watching the show. I was so embarrassed, first off. <laughs> but you mean, you <laughs> damn, damn, you don't want to be yourself. That's why we here. I was embarrassed because it's like, it's like, ah, oh, dang, they see me acting crazy. You know? What if I'm but, fucking with it? I mean. It's you. It is me. How you know I ain't like that? I heard stories. You ain't heard <laughs> You wanna find out? I might, I might, I might, I might. Uh, might have to take a ride one day. Right. But I was like, oh shit, like, you know, bro done shot us out. Like Come on, man. Bro done shot us out. It only made sense. And I, I was I was low-key thinking like, why nobody ain't been dead it though on me. But it's like, cause it, it's even for me, it was only right for me to do it. Speak on it, Type speak shit. on it, speak on it. Yeah, you know, South Central baddies, you feel me, it's, it's really homegrown. You feel me? And then on me, I put it on TikTok. And it then I crazy, put uh huh? I put um I put the other network on purpose on me. They they was in the comments, it's like a thousand comments. You dumbass, you put the wrong network, it's Zeus. On me, I did that on purpose though. So fuck y'all too. <laughs> Period. Yes, shout out to now that's T V. Yes. So the thing is, it's like it's dope as hell. Because you really like, you know, you used all of our names and you used it in a positive way. I feel like sometimes like when it comes to South Central Baddies, like they don't they, they they be like frowning on us like cause we ghetto. But you gotta think I'm really from like y'all really, really, really my cousin. <laughs> like. Tell them where you from. <laughs> I'm from Compton. Period. Period. So Watching the show, who are your favorites? Uh, I really fuck with everybody. I ain't even a favorite type of person. Okay. I said, that ain't really my place. Like, I fuck with everybody on there. Everybody doing their thing. You got to have some nuts to even go on there. No, you do. On me. You do. Because it's like, you know what you getting yourself into. So it's like, do your shit. So, like, you sit down and you watch the show with one of your bitches or something? Or you, ah, is it like a family she thing? She went crazy. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm going to just say somebody put me on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> somebody put me on. It was all, it all must been a play because I'm on a Liddy show. Come yes, on. it was. Thank you to whoever put him on to South Central Baddies. I feel like it was one of your bitches, but it's okay. Shout out to Mr. One Take J. <laughs> we here. So, I want to, like, I'm... I hate the word fan. I told you that, like, backstage. No, nah, I kind of do, me? too. If you go in my comments, you'll see me saying supporter. That was kind of dope that you said that. You really, like, a dope person. Thank me. you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Because supporters just means more. Because if you fuck with me, you fuck on with me. me. And you know? I feel like some fan is kind of like, I feel like that kind, fan to me is like a belittling word. Like, mm -hmm. I'm bigger than you. That's that why part. you see me jump in the crowd type shit, because... They could touch me. You feel me? Your it's, shows get wild. It's the same type of... It's a different type of feel than, like, a rapper just being on the stage and you just being in the crowd. It's a different... You re, you always reaching out. I jump in the crowd. We right here, face to face. What are we doing? It's more of a... Uh, it's more of a personal feel. It's more you like... Know, everything. You know? They get to connect with you. It's exactly. like, damn, he really fuck with us. Like. Exactly. So, you say, like, you jump in the crowd and stuff like that. 
I'm really just having fun like them on me. They be thinking it's deeper on me. <laughs> What's I deeper? <laughs> like on me, like thinking I'm trying to like, oh, mosh pit. Like take, they really be thinking like I'm trying to take the show to the next level. Niggas just be having fun. That shit fun <laughs> on me. They out there jumping around, <laughs> banging each other. I play football. So you in there. Look, I went to Pomona um, recently and I had a show out there. I had performed Big Liddy. And oh, niggas booked it busy type shit. Yeah, you feel me getting the back. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I, I performed or whatever, right? But when I went to the bathroom, the bitches was like, oh, shit, it's Liddy. Like, they kind of, like, swarmed me a little bit. I'm like, oh, shit. Like, because I was hiding. I was hiding in, like, the little, little bottle yeah, area. Yeah, you, you already know? knew what was going on. I knew what was going on. But see, this has been my first show since I got, I've been performing a song. You know, so it was anticipated. So I kicked all the niggas off the stage. I'm like, y'all got to go. Oh, so you come professional. Yes, y'all got to go. I need all the niggas off the stage, right? So I start pointing the bitches out. But oh, as man, I start pointing do, the bitches you're out. You're doing it right on me. They going right. to do whatever the females fuck with, everybody going to follow suit. Most definitely. So as I'm looking back, I see, like, the bitches, they pushing them. As I'm performing, I feel like I'm about to fall off the stage. But I keep oh, my composure. Oh, that mean you got that bitch rocking on me. Yeah. You don't need to say nothing But it else. reminded me of a mosh pit. It was like, dang, See, if I fall, next time, like, <laughs> I promise you, next time, tell them, open that bitch up. I'm finna get in there. I promise you, the whole place they go gonna crazy. They gonna catch me? I just put you on game. No, don't jump in there. Uh, get in there on some, get in the middle. To, you know uh -huh. how they open it up? Mm -hmm. And then start your song. Mm. Come on. You ain't seen no but no girl on that type of time. Man. I haven't seen no girl on Come on, that that's rock time, star man. type shit. You already a rock star. What you waiting Period. on? Christmas? That's what I'm talking about. I think... I think I want to jump, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I done did the jump, too. You just got to be prepared with come with it. Oh, me, you might be on your cheeks. <laughs> Castle <laughs> Christmas is over with. Y'all not going to catch me? <laughs> That's what's happening every day. Y'all better catch me. If I'm ever performing in your city, and I'm, and I'm feeling it, and I feel like I want to jump, y'all better catch me. Y'all better catch me. All right, what if I got a question for you? Okay, what's up? So you keep talking about this. I don't, you I, one day they probably seen my story. I didn't even see your story. I really be clicking I through shit. I was scared. So who was on your story? Fill me in. <laughs> I'm, these, these just questions. It's your show. You want to know the tea? I was gonna spill it. You want to know the tea? These just questions. I don't drink tea. Okay, he don't drink tea. So what was on my story today was so last night, right? Okay, I can't even say last night. The day before yesterday. I'm coming from Atlanta, right? I'm flying from Atlanta, and I get a motherfucking message like, "This this bitch Bigfoot talking shit." I'm <laughs> wait, like, "Wait, wait, wait, why are we using big words and big foots?" <laughs> because crazy. it's a big bitch with a big foot. So I'm like, "Um, okay, I'm shaking this bitch off." But when I seen what the bitch was saying, I said, "Oh." You you want to go there. Hey, look, we just going to say she. Look, you going to be the, yeah, you going to be the bigger person. We don't no, 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 I'm going to no, sit no. right here because she might jump on no, me. No, 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 I ain't no, got no. none of y'all help stay y'all. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know, you know, sometimes when you just got to be like a, a calculated you gangster. You can't do it. And I just have to be a calculated gangster. It's like the world that I'm in with reality TV it's like everything is on social media, right? And sometimes I don't want everything on social media, but sometimes it gotta go there because that's where these hoes like to play. That's their playground. So I'm gonna play it with you, but we gonna play on my terms. <laughs> you feel so you me? controlling the narrative basically is what you're saying. Well, not even controlling the narrative, more of they can't control me. I'm unpredictable. So, long story short, and you gotta make a song called "Unpredictable." That was gonna keep crazy right there. That sounded like an ad lib. It kind of, I'm like a walking ad lib sometimes. It just, I just All shit right, this man. shit. Man, I didn't get, I didn't get. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Nah, but no shade though. I pulled up to the bitch house. Okay. Accidents happen every day. We gonna say that. You feel me? I changed my number, leaked hers, and we did what it is. Who's even thinking that quick? Oh, me, I'm cooling. <laughs> I'm cooling. And like, how many hours, though, you change your number 
to throw another one out there. I changed it while I was sitting in front of her shit. 30 minutes. Yeah. They didn't have me on hold that long. We were rising pretty fast. You ain't crack no smile or nothing. You dead ass. No, because I'm dead ass serious. Because I knew she was going to leak mine. My number been leaked twice. My number been leaked twice since I've been on television. So I was like, uh-uh, yeah. not going to get me. Not I'm today. Finna, hey, I'm going to block you as soon as I leave. Don't do book. that. No. <laughs> Don't block me. Don't block me. Hey, because I can't change um, my Is my number. manager in the building? Did you number. get his number? <laughs> I had the same number since sixth grade. I never had a different number. I'm not going to leak your shit. I ain't never leaked a nigga number. I wouldn't even think you would leak it, but I'm just saying, though, I might just get you out the way. Get me out the way. Get you out the way. Get me, man. That's what they've been trying to do. It ain't been working. <laughs> Oh, it's on the same side because they be trying to get me out of the way. They ain't canceling Christmas over here. Christmas will never be canceled. Come on, man. So, with the whole album, the whole project you dropped, it was an album, right? Yeah. Okay. So, with the whole album you dropped, like, I see it was a Valentine's Day theme, kind of. Like, to me, it gave, it gave like, lovey dovey, like, yeah, I had shit. Drop, I had dropped the, uh, I had started that little era off with, um, last year, I dropped a project called One Take Bay. Okay, and then they was that. fucking with that or whatever. So I'm like, um, I'm gonna do it again, but I was just gonna do One Take Bay too. And then I switched the name. I'm like, Songs for Your Bitch Sound Harder. That do sound hard. On me. So we just did it like that. But I had been did the shoot for the cover, like the cover, not no May shit. We been did a shoot. That's from like a year ago. Mm. So I just had that bitch laying around. I'm like, I'm gonna put this shit up. Just put it up. But the, some of the songs was like new, new, and so, like half of the shit was like, I've been recorded that shit a year ago, two years ago. I just got plenty of shit. So what was the writing process for the On My Soul? Like, you just wrote it that It wasn't shit. no writing process. Uh -huh. I heard the beat, and then I'm like, I just heard the On My Soul part. Mm -hmm. And then I, I, I really watched the shit. I know what's going on, so I put it together. You had the perfect promo. I feel like... I feel like you owe my girl Cash some coin. Bro, I, who said I was getting coin? I was crazy. I'm trying to pitch y'all in a video and all that and really do it up. Okay. God damn. Can we eat together? I was just saying because you had posted Boy, it and listen. then it was her face. Like, like, I thought we was on the same page. That's why I said I'm going to get rid of you. See, you should have never gave me that shot. Now I'm acting how I act. On me. And we love it here. At the Liddy Show, we want y'all to be yourself. Shout out to the Liddy baby. Drop some bottles for one take, Jay. He she went it, crazy. So. <laughs> bottles is crazy. Yes, the Liddy babies. They, they, we drop bottles over here. You like, put you me know. on game. I didn't know about the Liddy babies. Yes, the Liddy babies. They are fantastic. I don't even got a name for my little peoples. You need to... Look, that's the perfect that's place crazy to come up with on it. Me. Everybody talks about who their supporters are, and they name them. I you got to help me time. come up with a little name for my people. So one we ain't going to rush it, though. We ain't okay. going to rush it, though. So we going to let it marinate. Because it ain't going to be dope. We going to let it marinate. Yeah. Listen, y'all. In the comments, you feel me? When you're watching this and while you're after this, if you fuck with One Take J, Wait, you are supporters, we about to turn this <laughs> bitch up. So make sure y'all y'all help him out, okay? Tell him what y'all want to be called, you know? I mean, put that in the comments because I really need that. I'm going to do a whole tape called that. The JJs. Damn, you viral. That's my initials. I'm pretty good. That's what I do sometimes. Accidents happen every day, though. <laughs> Accidents happen every day, though. Don't get too excited on me. He won't give me no credit. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, <laughs> besides On My Soul, right, what's the next song on that project, like, that you about to, like, push, push? Uh, H-Town. It's already going up on H -Town, me. H-Town. H-Town. Bitch been out for, like, a couple of days. We had, like, 30K. Oh, period. Period. 30,000 views on that bitch. H-Town. H-Town. How it go? Um, so many bitches let me out in H-Town. Okay, okay. I'm the one. I'm the nigga in L.A. now. I got a bad bitch. Ass up, face down. Yeah. You like how that sound? Yeah. <laughs> Accidents yeah. happen every day, y'all. Come on. Every day, every day, every day, every day. So, I got another question. What? Don't say nothing outlandish. Make it make sense this time. I make you nervous. <laughs> You crazy. <laughs> Where your shot at? Nigga, you down I there sweating. No. That is not oil. I know the difference between oil and, you feel me? 
I don't even think that's a shot. You went crazy with yes, the cranberry that's, juice. That's straight. That's straight. That's straight. That ain't, that's Hennessy. I have more than you. I'm lit. Give me another one. Give me another one. Okay. Why you get excited about giving me another one? That's how I know you bad business. I ain't bad business. <laughs> I'm I'm Liddy, like, you know? That's cool. Y'all see how he tried to clown me on my show? I should walk up into the camera and wipe my face, because there ain't even no sweat on my face. I'm just shiny, black girl magic. Hey, hit dog on holly, you know? <laughs> Come on, you supposed to let that die down. -uh. It was over with. No, it wasn't. I like you one take, JJ. Come on, man, I fuck with you too. I told I'm you you was dope. Do I don't be telling everybody they dope. <laughs> I mean, Period. you was the same off camera, so you feel me? Yeah, that was enough, that was gonna be my next question. Like, so have you ever thought about like you know acting or anything like that? Oh yeah, that's natural for me. I'm just like a, a charismatic type of. We gonna see some of that in shitter. the future. Yeah, but it's just like, got to be the right time, and they don't want to be doing no fugazi ass shit. Like ah, it got to be the real. You feel me? Like. And right. I'm gonna build myself up to that. You feel me? I'm not waiting on no people to come look for me and all that. I'm gonna just keep. You feel me? Right, right. And then right. when the time comes, it's just gonna present itself. Yeah, cause you got like a real like like charismatic. And they like, always used to tell me on me, I look like Kevin Hart a little bit. Ooh, I and see. And I'm it. funny like in school. But he littler than you, huh? Come on, man! Don't put that on me. You want to stand up and do it for the camera? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Hart, come to the Lily Show. <laughs> Hey, I'm telling you, once they get to climbing, we're going to have Kevin Hart right here. Oh, God. I manifest Kevin shit. You're going to be like, man, that nigga said it. No, for real, if I get that cracking. If. Look at you talking about if. You're supposed to say when. Okay, when I you get Kevin Hart. You waiting on Christmas, I told you. I ain't waiting on Christmas. So what you waiting on? Kevin Hart. That's why you're supposed to say when it happened, not if, me, yet. When it happened. That when part. it happened. Y'all see part. him we checking me on my show? Y'all see that? It's okay. Oh, no, I'm not checking. <laughs> it's just, you try to act like, yeah, I have more than you. No, I'm this just, is just, it's just natural. It's, it's just, just you, good it's combo. Natural. I mean, you from Compton. We're having good nigga. combo. We have a wonderful combo. Wonderful combo. So, what's your love life like? I'm hanging like titties. I'm cooling. You cooling? Yeah. You cooling? You know, cooling. they gotta, they gotta, like, it's not even they. It's just, you know, what the um, the word is, like, you know, on the streets with, like, a lot of, you know, us rappers, but specifically the males. I don't even really do that, because we right here having a regular conversation you could have ever imagined. So don't, why would you put us in a rapper category? <laughs> you weird. I mean, I flipped that on you crazy. Because it's always, the it's the niggas. It's the niggas, like, it be so many girls in L.A. that be like, the, 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 the rapper niggas, they just be all just like, just out here. Just, you know, just what out here. What you mean? Here. Like, give some like, specific. Like, y'all just, like. Why you saying, y'all, you put me in. Nobody <laughs> told you something about me. Nobody ain't told no, you that. Ain't nobody told me nothing that about part. you. I have, I have no T yeah, on one so take J. You throw me in I have, there. You're not in there, but you. You said y'all. It's the, it's the, um. You know what? What's the word that I'm looking for? Liddy Babies, help me with the word. What's the what's the word you that I'm looking for? You should be thinking I'm cold if you know me and you ain't even heard nothing. Nah, nah, because it's not a code. It's like a, it's like a, um, it's like a group thing. Like, you know, it's like a group thing. Like, y'all wild. Men, the men from South Central. Come yeah, I got LA, character. Yeah, you see that. They see that. <laughs> what you mean, wild? <laughs> I'm cooling. You be chasing the groupies? I'm stuck like a truck on two <laughs> shots right here. I'm gonna chase somebody. I'm stuck right here. So oh, two shots. He don't. He don't chase the groupies. Okay. He don't chase the groupies. Okay. He don't chase the groupies. Oh, he man. don't chase them. He don't chase them. So, outside of South Central Baddies, like, do you watch any of the other shows on Now That's TV or on Zeus or anything? Bro, my put me on, be playing them motherfuckers. Yeah. All of them. All of them? Yeah. So what I don't be shows? watching all of them because all that shit not interesting. You got to eat some shit. Why you, that's what I'm saying. I really made the song like just on some regular natural shit because mm -hmm. like I didn't force it. Like, off to go make a song. It was just like, boom. When okay, the time is right, it's just going to happen. So did you, you watch previous seasons of South Central Baddies, right? I probably seen like... <laughs> 
really starting this one. Okay, season four. Season four. But you, you know, should, you should really go back and watch season three though. Season three was cracking too. That's when you was doing the most. <laughs> you smacked your lips like you didn't present that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't doing the most. I just freestyled into a fade, like you know. Uh. I'm about to go check it out then. Yeah, you know, the first... It's all content. First theme, it's like, I can, I can say that I could group myself, the first, you know, female rapper to do that. I told hey, Soulja Boy too, that. look, on me, I'm going to have to give you your respect, too, because I didn't even know you rapped on me. And that's and then, but look, I heard the song before, though. I just didn't, you get, you know... Oh, you heard the Big Liddy song? Yeah, it's a lot of people that know my music and they don't know me. Right, right, right. I didn't. I never put like the, but I knew who you were. I never put it like you see what I'm saying together. But you know, I'm not mad at you for that. You know that you can't be. No, I'm not mad at nobody for that. I'd be so upset at myself. Hey, cocaine, chill out. No, but that's good though. Long as that just means your music traveling. You got to think. I knew you. I knew you in two different aspects. That means you getting it in two different worlds. You not right. seeing the bigger picture. No, so I see it. I knew you for the zoo shit, and then I now heard that TV. song before type shit. Right. On me. When um, when I went on season three, when. Hey y'all, y'all know this happens all the time. Kane! I'm sorry y'all. I don't know why my dog wants to attack my security. She's feeding the dog. Cats out the bag. Now they're gonna use that. Hey, that was a bar. They know. I told you accidents happen every day. That was a bar. My dog eat. I'm gonna growling and all type of shit. Cause he a killer, nigga. Man. That's a killer Frenchie. Man, that dog did all That's that a- barking. That dog, <laughs> nice as fuck. <laughs> That's a killer, Frenchie. He ain't playing no games. I don't have no problems. Sit down. Sit down, Daddy. See, he and that's the problem. You gave him the name Kane. You try to give him that image. His name is Cocaine. <laughs> His name is Cocaine. <laughs> hey, stop growling. His name is Cocaine. But back to what I was saying, though. You right. Everything you saying is right. I just like kind of felt some type of way at first because when I did season three, like after that season, that was like last year or the year before, I dropped music and it didn't do what it did right now. You feel me? Like, I felt like I had to go back to that season to accomplish my goal of getting my music more out there. Because, you know, it's a lot of competition around here. And it's staying consistent, though. Exactly. But look, now that you got, you got to think, now you got a bigger fan base, a fan base, more eyes on you and all that. Just as much as you're doing this shit, you got to be doing music, too. It's like no excuses. You just got to fit it in. Most definitely. So before I went on TV, right, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Before I went on TV, um... I did a song with Corrupt. I remade that, boom. Then I did some shit with Sugar Free, did that, boom. Then did some stuff with my boy Lavish D from um, up in the north. And I was I was getting on the radio stations. Like, you know, I was doing my promo. I was doing, I was doing a lot. And I was very consistent. Like, even all my visuals, they pretty much directed by me. And I was dropping yeah, back to hard. back to back to back to back to back. But I didn't get the exposure that I wanted. Because you ain't have all the eyes and the ears yet. Exactly. So my people was mad at me. That That's I was going. No, they was mad at me that I was going on the show before. Oh. they like, man, you're doing music. You're doing so good. But I went on there. But you there. had a different vision, though. Exactly. I went on there and was like, you know what? I'm just about to squabble up and then. You just did it and it worked. And it worked. On me. You know? That's what I'm saying. You so, just gotta do you, it's gonna work. So I'm I'm thankful for it. I'm thankful for it. I fuck with it. But it's people like you. <laughs> you feel me? It's people like you that's tapping in and watching that I've been listening to for years. Like, you know? So it feel good. Yeah, it's just but like a, just, it's you know, a it's a it's like a connect too, because it's just like naturally. You naturally and went, went and did you. I naturally was doing me. That's how you got on me. You feel me? Oh, God. So it just it just feel good that artists, not even just artists, like influencers, because there's other influencers, too, that are tapped in and watching what we're doing and oh, giving yeah, us for our sure. flowers. And like, it's, people, it's people that's bigger than we can imagine, bigger than both of us that's watching. They're just not seeing it. No, most definitely. Most definitely. So... On behalf of the other baddies, even the bitches I don't fuck with, 
y'all thank him because he gave us our flowers. Making that song was giving us our flowers. You feel oh, me? yeah, for sure. Yeah, and they be in the comments talking about, is this a diss? Like, no, it's not a diss. If you, you listen, if you watch the show, you would get it. A lot of people probably you ain't really watching. Why did they think Or you just don't diss? know the lingo. You don't yeah, know like, what's going on. What part they thought it was a diss? I don't know. The girl said it, it felt like a diss to him. A diss? Like you was dissing it? You said you like a, you said I like a dark skinned bitch bad Come like Come on, cashmere. man. Make it make sense. I'm you holding said, the black queens up. Come on now. You said, you said Liddy, you said Liddy, she got pressure in her panties. Come on, mm. man. Pressure ain't no pressure though. <laughs> Oh look, look, come on, man. Do the interview thing. My bad, you guys know I get carried away. So I'm gonna I'm gonna open the phone line real quick. Okay. So Liddy Babies, I'm about to open the phone line. Excuse me, this is how I talk to my supporters because it's like Bebe's kids over here, okay? Hey, uh, look, I'm in your world. Okay. So, listen, you guys. You guys are going to call in. I'm going to open up the phone line. You guys are going to call in and ask questions for One Take J. Winter will be coming out in a second. But y'all are going to be asking questions for One Take J, Okay. Can we handle that? Let's see what they talking about. Yeah, look in the comments. They said, where's Winter? They looking for her. Y'all looking for Winter. Boy, listen. They on her body. Look. Winter, tell them you in the building. I'm in the motherfucking building, y'all. See, there she go, y'all. All right, y'all. Let me look at these comments real quick. <laughs> they said we want winter real bad. Okay, so the number is 213-536-1152. 213-536-1152, okay? So we just waiting on them to tap in. Oh, they're already you. calling. I got like 20 missed calls. Mm. On do not disturb because like they already have the number, but see they be calling so much that the numbers just hop over themselves. Oh yeah, LA calling in. Why is not letting me pick it up? What's going on? Oh, me, they talking plenty of shit in the comments. They gonna keep talking shit. <laughs> okay, y'all. They said, okay, texting me. Okay, Liddy, answer. I don't know why y'all broke my phone line, so I'm gonna call y'all back. Y'all broke my shit. I mean, that motherfucker beeping and some more shit. Oh, God. They that broke shit it. That shit sound like a uh, fire alarm all in the house. I need batteries. I don't know what's wrong with the phone line, y'all. Phone line is broke. Man. Oh, okay. Can I get a phone and I can call these numbers back um, block? Don't nobody want to give me that phone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, said, who the fuck you talking to? <laughs> Don't nobody want to give me that phone? No boy, no. All right, y'all, I'm calling y'all back by random, and I'm going to go back to the break and fix my phone.
What's the deal? This big lady and I'm calling you back. What's the deal? Hold on, let me turn this up. <laughs> What's up? You got a question for one take, Jay? Or you just got something to say? Yes. You got a question for for Jay or something to say? Um. She waiting on Christmas. He said you waiting on Christmas. What's going on? You shy? Hello? Hey, can you, I'm going to hang up hey, on y'all. I can't believe you answered. No cap. That's one of them. That's one of them. I'm going to hang up on y'all. They like, okay, she really tapped back in. I love you. Bye, lady. Bye. I told you they can't believe you answered. They ain't got no question. <laughs> it's her in the flesh. They do got, man, they do got questions. They do got questions. You don't know, they be popping over here. They be talking shit and some more shit. No, nah, I'm talking about them specific people. You oh, they was them, scared. You had them pressured up. They can't believe you really tapped back in. They oh, was yeah. just doing it like, let me, let me call. And no, we calling back tonight. Okay. What's the deal, this big lady? And I'm calling you back. Hey, big lady, big lady. <laughs> if you want to stay, come and get it. Come and get Period. it. All that. All that. On my soul. <laughs> So what's up? Okay. You got a question my for one question. take, Jay, or you you want to talk, or you got something to say? Yeah, I got a question for him. Okay, hold on. Let me pass the phone. Say, really. Let me pass the phone. Okay. Wait, hold up. <laughs> I really, I really got something to say though, cause what's, what's uh, you just a big one on that Family Street song, cause niggas be so broke. That's exactly how they bum. Come on, man. Niggas okay. be so broke. That's exactly so how they motherfucking bum me. I can't that's, lie that's to you. That's really how they bum me though. <laughs> hey. Okay. To all the people all out there, look, we gonna look, we gonna let them know she was talking about the family tree song. That was on some shit I dropped before the shit I just dropped. So y'all gotta catch up, keep up type. Mm -hmm. shit. I know I gotta catch up. I gotta catch up. My brother put me onto that one, and I really just, I just really fell in love with that one. So. Nah, I wanna say I appreciate you though. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate you for dropping music. That's good. That people actually wanna hear. Yeah, thank you. And keep being you on everything. I fuck with you, too, for fucking with me. Thank you. I fuck with y'all. fuck with you and Liddy, period. Big Liddy show, yeah. Where you calling from? Pressure ain't really pressure, though. <laughs> like you said, ain't no pressure pressuring. Period. Where you calling from, little baby? I'm calling, I'm calling from L.A., but I'm really from L.A. Period. I'm calling from L.A., but I'm really I'm from a, L.A. I'm, I'm, I'm a high. I'm so sorry. I'm, from, was... uh, I'm in Las Vegas, but I'm from L.A. I'm in okay. Las Vegas right now. Okay, period, period, period. What's her name? <laughs> What's your name, baby? My name is Amijah. Amijah. Shout out, Amijah. Shout out to her. Shout out to you, baby. Thank you for calling in. Thank you. She was, she was on I mean, that family she was tree. <laughs> That family tree, that's her shit. No, that's really her shit. She was serious. She was serious as hell. All right, we're going to call somebody else. We're going to call somebody else back. Damn. I don't know why all these calls is missing. Look at that. I mean, that's a good at least. And that's down there 100. That's, it's, it's over that low key. All right. Let's see. Let's see what they talking about. This big lady and I'm calling you back. What's the deal? Holy shit, big lady, what's the deal? <laughs> what's up? Hey, from California. Period. You from Cali? What part of Cali you from? Hell yeah. I'm from Moreno Valley. Period. From okay, period. So you got a question for one take J or you just got something to say? Um, a question, something to say. Draw my appreciation. I really fuck with what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Off top, don't let any bitches tell you different, period. Thank you. Take that, Jay. Keep putting on for the city, for the state. We appreciate you on the West Coast for sure. Yeah, but I appreciate you. For a you. Years, so, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Actually, okay. what's your name? <laughs> we need all their names. Got you. What's your name? You say you from Marino Valley, and what's your name? Yeah. Um, Shakara, but big K. Shout out Shakara from Marino Valley. We fucking with you, too. Period. All right. Thank you for calling back. You're welcome. All right. Good night. 
Oh, that's what I'm talking about. You hey, see, you got to tap it in. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. All right. I'm about to call this number back, and then we're going to get Winter out here. I'm going to call two back. Three, seven, five. What's the Hello? deal? This big lady and I'm calling you back. Ah, period. Big lady, big lady. If you want this fake, come, come and get, get it. it. Period. Big empress. Big empress. From hey. DA757, you know who it is. You from where, DA? DA. BA, what's that? What is that? Two up, two down. Come on now, Virginia. Two up, two Virginia, VA. I thought you said VA. That's why I'm like, hold on. Like, that's not uh, BA. I'm like, what is BA? But VA, yeah, I know VA. I, VA. Yeah, you know VA. You need to come out VA, period. Period. So, <laughs> that's another topic for another hey, she day. she got I energy. Got she came with energy. Okay, period. So, you got some questions for One Take J, or you just got Yay. something to say? Oh, okay, hold on. Let me pass the phone. All right. How you doing? Hey, how are you? What's... All right, not too much, because I got a man, okay, period? Uh... <laughs> Real, Yeah. My man, my man. But um, I just wanted to know. Um, it seems like y'all was a little, a little flirting a little bit. So I'm trying to figure out: Am I wrong or am I, am I right? You just saying you just saying never seen that type of convo go on between two dope people. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's so the same so thing right. off camera. Right. It's just natural. Okay. Oh, all right, baby. So With your I'm messy ass. ass. <laughs> With your messy ass. Nah, but I appreciate. Oh, I, yeah. Hey, okay, I appreciate. Well, yeah, I won't try to be messy. I'm just trying to, you know. <laughs> I appreciate your question too, though. All right. Well, y'all don't keep doing what y'all doing. Let love, let support, correct. Thank you. Appreciate it. Love you. And girl, don't be calling my show being messy like that. Don't do that. You don't know what the fuck I got going. <laughs> love you, lady. Love you too. <laughs> See, I gotta talk to them like that. <laughs> <laughs> like all that. Like, I gotta talk to them like that because these really my people, though. Like, you know? And they fucking with they you. They coming in with the energy, too. They fucking and, with and you. Look, I'm glad we doing this on live because they swear only the West Coast play my music. No. So no, her no. calling from she the She called from Virginia. Two. Yeah. VA. She's big VA. Two up, two down. She put she, me on. Two up, two down. Oh, she me, did you say learn that. something every day. She lucky banged on that. us. She lucky banged on us. All right, I got one more for you, and I don't even know this area code. Let's see. I love that y'all listening to me, too, and y'all respecting me and really calling in and interacting with my guests. I fuck with y'all for that. I do. I fucks with y'all. Look, this person about to miss their spot. All right, you missed your spot. I think this shit a game. <laughs> it's, this is not a test. This is not a fire drill, nigga. E.T., <laughs> he don't like you. <laughs> My dog been barking because, yeah, she here. I don't know why y'all not answering, and I let it ring for a long time. They probably because it's a it's a block number. That's why. Liddy calling y'all back from a block number. Okay. Hello. This the Liddy show, and I'm calling you back. Oh, what's the deal, big lady, big lady? If you want this thing, come and get it. Come and get it, bitch. That was yeah, over viral. Right. And, and I have a you viral. That was honestly. crazy because I couldn't have seen myself do it all. That that was crazy. No, they do. They do a lot. It's this one night that Big Virgo. He just be calling in. Hold on, my bad, my bad, my bad. So you got a, you got some questions and you got something yeah, to say. I got, a, I got a, I got a question for uh, one take, Jay, and then I got a statement. Just to make it clear for all the lady babies, all the supporters, for everybody out there, because 
Uh, but I want to just uh, get the question out to uh, One Take J real quick. Okay. There you go. What's the deal with you, my boy? I uh, chilling, chilling like a big villain. But uh, I just wanted to ask, how was you working with Mustard? Uh, shit, that shit was like normal too. Like, shit, how you see me right here? That shit was like uh, regular. All right, okay. Cause I've been all like, right. I've been, we been had songs before y'all heard that song. I just not the type of nigga to be like showing my hand type shit, happy like, oh, let me post this. Cause I, you feel me, mustard. So I all just right. wait so to I'm shit. Gonna, you feel I'm gonna me? Throw a little, I'm gonna throw a little curveball in there. Yeah. Do you ever get comparisons to Blueface? Come on, bro. You just ask a question you know the answer to. Come on, quit playing. We from the same place. That's just like, you feel me? You don't sound that's like obvious. blue face to me. But that's obvious, though, being from the same place. And like when we first came out, that's like who they compare each other to. You be more little, yeah, you yeah, more yeah. on beat but than him, it's, though. It's, it's all like, it's all love, though, right? It's, it's, it's all love. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. To each his yeah, yeah, yeah. own on everything. That's my boy. Uh, yeah, Free yeah, yeah. blue face. No shade, no shade, no shade. Hey, that, that's what's Free cool. Free Krishan, baby. On daddy. me. That's all I really had to, to just ask because I really fuck with that song about with Mustard. Oh, yeah, I appreciate that, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. Hell yeah. But uh, for all the lady babies and all the supporters out there, I mean, whatever. I feel like whatever pressure and Liddy got going on, y'all need to just leave it to them and whatever y'all have to say, like, we just need to just stay out the way for real. Well, I really appreciate you for saying that, but oh, she put name? all y'all in it. What's your name? This is Matt Makes. You know me from Twitter. I'm always spam liking your shit. I'm always... Just... Wait, what's your Twitter name? Matt Makes. Oh, period. What's the deal? I mean, no, I'm not supporting <laughs> 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 what's his, uh, tell him what's his, what's, his, what's his name? We want to know your name, though. And where you from? And where you from? Max. Max? I'm from Texas. He from Texas. I called, I called hey, shout like out you Max from so Texas. You, me. you said you was going to follow me. You never follow me. But yes, I, I did. Like Hold on. Oh, me. He tripping. Oh, God. Spell it. No, spell it. No, spell it. <laughs> he got the perfect opportunity. Hold on. No, spell it. Spell your Twitter. Nigga, spell your motherfucking Twitter. Matt Mates. M-A-D. No, M-A-T-T. That's why. Matt. And then M-A-E-K-Z. Oh, Matt. Yeah. Oh, shout out Matt I, I don't from have Texas. A real big, like following or whatever, but I really do like. I really do. I really fuck with you, Liddy. You, you okay. People, I like. I, like I fucks with you too. Thing. DM me, okay. All right, I will. Appreciate everything. And thank you for calling in. Thank you for supporting One Take J thank all the way from back. Texas. Yeah, tell you feel bro. me. All That's right, dope. Take so, if you want this fade, come and get it. <laughs> <laughs> I love my supporters. Hey. I love them. That was Texas, oh, so we man. had Virginia, we had Texas, we got Marino Valley, Vegas. Come on, they just touch And they it. said they only listen to you on the West Coast? Come on, man. They not making it make sense. Nah, they fucking with you. Come on. That's dope. That's I know dope. What's going on. I ain't gonna lie to you. When you dropped the song, though, not just on Instagram, but on Twitter, people was hitting me like, Liddy, did you see? He shouted you out. Like, they were so stoked. That's why I say what I say. Like, you feel me? Like, you fuck with us, I fucks with it. Because a lot of people don't fucks with us because they scared of us. But you fucks with us, you know? Told you all the cuz off. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure you didn't grow up watching your sisters and your cousins and your aunties just I'm max shit child. out. Only child. I don't mean. But I got, uh, I, you got to look at it like you a this. Brat? I got 1,500 cousins, though. Oh, God, cousins. Like. But the cousins that was with you at grandma's house. Yeah. Yeah. My mama the only one. My mama got like eight siblings type of thing going. Damn. One of my uncles got eight kids. Your mama was like, forget that. I'm just having one. She like. Castle mm. Christmas. Christmas, baby. Say <laughs> so your birthday on Christmas. No. Oh, okay. When June 26. So what is that? Cancer. Cancer. Yeah. Oh. Shit, get up then. No, I don't. That's, that, see, that's why I don't fuck with people that be on the sign. She, <laughs> she, she was fitting the whole little convo and everything. She heard the sign and come on now, make it make sense. Because you can't see and boy. everybody ain't the same. You didn't it's put not that all in You didn't store that oh. shit in your head. Take the flash drive out. 
<laughs> you stored that in your head. I like it's crazy. cancers though. I do. I like cancers. Come on, cancer gonna make it make sense until you fuck over. I know. And then very, we cancel Christmas. I like cancers. I know a very supportive, loving cancer. Like that's what I'm know? saying. I know cancers. I know cancers, but bro, cancer y'all gonna do it up too. if they fuck with you. Y'all emotional too. Emotional gangsters. That's why I said if they don't fuck with you, you gonna get the boo. Yeah, we ain't gonna do all the emotional shit. We gonna get you up out of there. Fast. That's why I say cancel Christmas. We ain't doing it. We ain't doing none of that. So you say you straightforward, blunt, all that. Probably a little bit too much. Too much. Yeah, you know sometimes that can be detrimental because it be hurting people's feelings. Bitches be calling you crying but, a lot. Huh? But you gotta think everybody ain't getting the truth from everybody. Right. Right. Somebody gotta do it. Yeah, somebody gotta do it. Well, let's get. I'm about to go ahead, you guys. We're going to take like a 30-second break. I promise you it's going to be 30 seconds. I know I'll be lying, but it's going to be 30 seconds. And we're going to go ahead and bring out Mean Girl Winter. Mean Girl Winter. Wait, okay. hold up. We just turned this bitch up. Hey, I appreciate Liddy for having me on this motherfucker. And I appreciate y'all for watching. Good looking. Thank you, guys. I'll be back with y'all in just a second. Oh, me. I'm thinking we from the little... <laughs> Hey, this is Liddy Michelle, a.k.a. Big Liddy. If you want this fade, come and get it. And I'm here today to tell you to go ahead to Body Crush Studio and get you a luxury V-Steam for $35 on Wednesdays. Barbie, how it feel? Oh, girl, feel real good. I'm over here just relaxing because, you know, V-Day was yesterday, girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You already know I'm over here cooling, big cooling. <laughs> <laughs> cooling, cooling. So y'all make sure y'all head over to Slauson and Rempaw Body Crush Studio and get this V thing, baby. You want that coochie clean? Come and get it. What's the deal? We back. We, we back. back. And I got I got winter in the building. I heard y'all was looking for me. Here I go. Here you go. What's the deal, lady? Thanks Hi. for having me. Thank you for being here. So, first off, you brought somebody here that had. Yes, my homegirl. Thank you for representing her brand. Y'all see it. Low life. Low life. You feel me? You know we support black businesses yeah. over here. And I that's what we do for that. You did that, thank you. No, that's, it's genuine. just what you're supposed to do. Like, you're genuine, I fuck with it. If you're supposed to do it, you're supposed to do it. Mm -hmm. So, you told me you was nervous a little bit to I be here. I am a little nervous, <laughs> <I tell. laughs> What you nervous for? I don't know, it's the spotlights. And you know, the haters love the hate, so. No, most definitely, so, we're gonna take it slow. Okay. We're gonna take it slow. Let me sit back. We're gonna take it slow, push that up just a little bit. Let me sit back, y'all. So we're gonna take it real slow. So, Winter, mm -hmm. Hi, tell girl, the people she... where you from. I'm from LA, South Central, you know, do it big in the brims, you know? Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And how did you get casted for Mean Girls? I got casted because I had a couple of my homegirls was like, they doing this duo show, and everybody know like me and Kayla, like when we step out, we like, you know? We them girls and we outside. So my homegirl was like, y'all should do it. I'm like, ooh, we should do it. Like, fuck it, let's do it. Like, why not, like, make people hate us even more? Like, <laughs> you feel me? Right. So we already had some pictures, but he was like, take new pictures. So we took some new pictures, like, three days later. And our pictures ate, but we didn't get picked. And we had the most likes on our pictures. So I'm like, wait, hold up. Like, why we didn't get picked? Like, we was for sure, we had 
the most likes, the most comments are pictures won. Mm -hmm. So when he did the whole little announcement who won, well, who got casted, I was like, wait, hold up. I got my hair there because I knew I was for sure, like, we was for sure, like, in the middle, first pick, some, like, right. somewhere in there. So I'm like, oh, we got, on, we got on live, and we went up. We was like, what's the deal? Like, how we didn't get picked? Like, what's up? Like, Y'all started did that. tripping. Yeah, we did that. Like, how? Like, he like, all right, y'all cast it, y'all cast it. So we like, all right, whatever. Oh, isn't he so pussy? That's yeah. cute. <laughs> He's so pussy. Yeah, so we ended up getting casted, but um, we was replacements. Mm -hmm. So the next day we came, and yeah, we did our big one. Yeah, because I was there the first day. I, I, I didn't see y'all. Then when I... Seen on the show, I was like, okay, they're pretty, they're pretty. They pretty. Yeah, we like wasn't them. there for the little classmate photo shoot, and they ate. The girls did that. It was cute. Yeah, it was. It was. I liked it that. So outside of you know on TV popping your shit, what what else do you do? Right now, I'm trying to. I want to be my own boss. I can't like. I'm one of them girls. I want to be. I'm an Aries, so I'd be like, okay. I want to be the boss. I want to tell you like, hey, do this, do that, like so. I'm never trying to like be like, you know, like I know I'm top notch, like, so I'm about to do this. So right now I'm working on a hair salon, like basically where niggas cut hair, females doing the hair installs and somebody doing eyelash in the back. Right now me and my nigga, we teaming up to do that right now. So we about to get our business. So we get our spot, get a salon, nice little big salon so we could do what it do. Okay, you know you're gonna, gonna be eat. cracking in there. You know, niggas, you, niggas can find the bitches, the bitches can find the Right, niggas. right. Like, you know, well, let me lit. perform Big Lady at the grand opening. You know, you will. Let it's me do that. Big Lady. I'm gonna turn it up. Bitch, <laughs> I'm gonna turn it up. You see? Yeah. Now, that's, that's the stuff that I like to hear from us. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I like this is my first time meeting you. You yeah. feel me? But I'm, I'm happy to meet you because you my people. And when I mean my people, I don't mean like we cousins. I don't mean like. We, you know, we got the same flag. I don't mean any of that. I mean that we from South Central, South Central. and we dealing with trying, a network. We yeah, trying to we trying get to somewhere up. else. I'm like, trying to, you know, I'm really just trying to give myself a good platform where I could just do me. Cause I know like this TV shit is fun, but I'm trying to give myself a platform where I could be my own boss. And yeah, I want to step in rooms and be like, oh, that's winter. Like, you know, I already had a couple, like, I'd be like, ooh, we like, They you know? doing that. I'm pretty sure they too then. They yeah, doing they that. Yeah, I had somebody last night at a party. I'm just like, ain't you? Cause I was with Kayla last night. So they're like, ain't y'all? I'm like, yeah. It feel good. <laughs> it does. Girl, I be scared. I, I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just earlier with my homegirls, we went to go get some pizza and then it was like these girls in a car and they was like looking. And then when I bounced out, they was like really looking. So I'm like, I don't know if it's like, you know, LA shit, or like, is it like you see me on TV trying to really figure out like, is that winter? Like, so I'd be having to like chill out. I don't know now, so now I'll be like. Right, and speaking of LA shit, me, I had to get used to that. Mm -hmm. Like after season three, I was paranoid. Yeah. I like, was very I was very paranoid because you, you, we know what we going on TV opening ourselves up to. You know what I mean? Yeah, that is. So, I was I was nervous for it, so it's good to hear you taking it like this. But some people will tell you like I was like, yeah, I'm still low key nervous about because I don't know if like you know people be wanting to test people gangster like well let me see like is she really like about it the other than TV but y'all sure already know my background I, I'm gonna get down so it don't matter right win lose or draw <laughs> win lose or draw I'm a win, fight draw, I'm period. a fight so that's y'all sure already know that about me so now that y'all seeing me on TV is either you fuck with me or you don't fuck with me. It's right. other, move around so other people that do fuck with me can get in the building. Right. So, before we get into the Mean Girls drama, before we get into that, I got my own questions, and okay. I told you that. Okay, because you was not letting me. I was trying to get a hint, y'all, and she was not telling me. <laughs> I did not want to tell I'm you. I'm nervous. What is it? So, um, you watch season four of South Central Buddies? Mm hmm. I watch all of them from the beginning. Period. So I was trying to figure out, like, so when I was in the house, I knew about Knuckles and Fan Night Beef. Oh, Fly Night. Right? Fly Night. Fan. So um, when I was in the house or whatever, I kept hearing her say, like, she wasn't from there. And then, you know, I got out the house. I did my own background check because mm -hmm. she was just banging so hard on me. Mm -hmm. And I just didn't understand it because I never met the girl. Like, you know? So I, I didn't get it. I, I, I was so fucking confused. Okay. So um, then I see, you know, y'all all was like, not y'all all, but, you know, you and your Knuckles, y'all had y'all beef 
or whatever the fuck that was. It was like, beef. It, it was beef. Mm-hmm. Y'all had y'all beef. So then I see, you know, y'all kind of like Soldier Boy night back. So the fans want to know, because that was the main question in my okay. DM. The supporters, I'm sorry, you guys. The supporters want to know, like, so she good in the hood now? Fly Knight is from Brim. Okay. She has her put, she got her put on, she is from Brim. So when she be like blood this or Brim this, she is from the set. Okay. So the season way, four, was she from y'all set? Yeah, she been, she been from the set. Like, she mm-hmm. got her little numbers, like her little numbers from the set. But the situation with Knuckles and Fly Knight, it's not Brim business. So for you to get on the show and bring up Brim business, they don't got no, we don't got, don't bring us up. Don't say, oh, well, she not good. Don't, that don't got, that nothing to do with us. Mm-hmm. Y'all beef is y'all beef. Y'all got some beef with the BPSs and her, and that's the whole situation, I guess. Motherfuckers, you know how when you just get put on, motherfuckers be trying to use you as a, like, hey, go do this, mm-hmm. hey, go do that. So she didn't want to do that. So they, like, get put off. She got put off. Mm-hmm. And she came over here. So that, that don't get on the TV show and make it seem like, oh, you not good over there. No, that ain't got nothing to do with it. Whatever she, whatever politics or whatever she got going on, that's between us. We don't get on TV and be like, oh, well, yeah, she is mm-hmm. right. Y'all ain't seen one person from Brim be like, oh, Knuckles is right. Like, woo 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 she ain't. Ain't nobody said nothing like that. So it's like, when you get on TV and bring up somebody else hood beef or they else, whatever politics, whatever politics they got going on, you look stupid to me. I, 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 do, I honestly 100% agree with As you. As hood business, like, don't bring it. It's just like when you go to somebody else's hood, say you in my hood, and you see a girl that you don't like, and you from, you, you a crib, you from whatever, but everybody cool with you being right there, but you want to turn up on her, everybody going to tell you, take that somewhere else. We got a whole, like, something else going on. Whatever y'all got going on with y'all issues, go handle that over there. Don't handle it over here. That's basically what, like, I'm trying to, like, explain, like... No, I get exactly what you're saying. Yeah. But I feel like it just go on both sides. It do. It do. I just feel like it go on both sides. And when I say, like, both sides, like, yeah, like, bringing the politics to TV, it, it never made sense to me. It don't make but sense to me. But even me, sometimes, I, I get mad at myself when I'm angry and I'm gangbanging on TV. Mm-hmm. I, every time I see it, I be so upset. That's and what it, I thought about. Like, I'm like, ooh, do I want, like, do, I don't want that image because I'm a girl's girl. And I be, like, having fun. Like, if I fuck with you, I don't fuck with you. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm a girl's girl, but I do gangbang. So it is a, like, hold on, wait a minute. Like, because I do have a new show coming up I'm about to be on. And it might be, like, you know, it's going to be an everyday thing because I ain't never just sat in no house with somebody, like, right from it, like, I can't just, I don't know. It's, 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 it's a, a lot. It's like, hard. It's hard. Like It's hard to compose yourself. You talking about yourself. like one day, like one day, like right. what? Five days. Right. Yeah. Because like I say, like when I mean like it goes both ways, like like I say, me, I'm I'm biased to shit. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I'm I biased to you. shit. I like who I like and I don't like who I like. You feel me? But I'm not a fake bitch. You feel me? I'm not a fake bitch at all. So I'm not going to be like, oh, well, I feel like, I feel like Nike was wrong. Or Mm -hmm. I feel like Knuckles was wrong because I wasn't there. But what I do feel like is like the politics don't just count on TV. They count on social media, too. They They count when, you know, when bitches is in clubhouse rooms big popping in and big gang banging and stuff like that, it counts there too. Because I have heard some people on Clubhouse that was from Brims that said some things about her. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna say their names or nothing like that. Yeah, people but have I, gotten you know, into it. Just I, like I, I've, I've had, into I've had her. Hurting girls, they're gonna have something exactly. to say about so, me too. Exactly, so that's my thing. It, it should be a, a um, an accumulative thing, you mm-hmm. feel me? But we'll never be on the same page. Nobody will never be on the same page. Yeah, I just hate how it just be on social media and TV. I feel like if we could just all gather up at a meetup spot and handle that there and leave it there, mm-hmm. it's great. Like, it's awesome. Squashed. Let right. it go. Right, right. I don't fuck with you. You don't fuck with me. Let it go. Right, right. Why keep trolling each other online? Why keep trolling some, a storyline on TV that I feel like you're wrong, you feel like I'm wrong about? Mm-hmm. And I and I totally I totally agree with you with that. Mm-hmm. And I thank you for being honest mm-hmm. and not being offended because the last bitch that came here got offended by me. She like stormed out and start closing doors and shit. Oh, so shit. I appreciate <laughs> you. You know because 
my thing is, I'm, I'm going to be real with myself. I'm mm-hmm. going to be real with myself. Like, I know where you're from. I know where, she, where she's from now. You feel mm-hmm. me? But my, my purpose is not to defame her. Mm-hmm. You feel me? It was never. Now, when I first met your homegirl, I never met her in person. She interviewed me on Clubhouse after season three before oh. she was casted for season four of South Central Baddies. And when she told me who she was inside the house before the shit started, the same first conversation you ever had with me, and I want you to think about that first conversation you had with me, is the same conversation I had with her, but Mm. face to face. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. You get where I'm coming from? Yeah. So with that being said is, a lot of shit do be for clout. Yeah, be for the cameras. Now, on Clubhouse, you know, you said she said she was from there. She was, I was at the Mean Girls house mm-hmm. the first day, right? So I was at the Mean Girls house the first day. They were saying, like, um, you know, Isaiah didn't really want me there. She, even though my, 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 my cousin Pressure, who's doing all the weird shit, she the one who got me in to be the producer, but now I know why she wanted me there. She wanted me to protect her big, goofy ass. So, with that be... No, seriously. Like, she thought I was going to stay. Bitch, I had a booking in Philly. I had to go get some money. I had to go. Mm-hmm. So, but they had me hiding in the principal's office because they didn't want Nye to see me because they were saying if she saw me, she was going to leave. So, she ended up leaving. So, she didn't know you was going to be there? No. I was there to work, though. I wasn't there to fight. Okay. For real, for real. I, I was you. there to work. Mm-hmm. So when um, when I found out she had left, like they said, she got on the freeway out the Uber and left with her duo. When I said she left, I'm like, she really think it's real beef with me. <laughs> bitch, I'm, I'm, I want my money first. Mm-hmm. I can give a fuck about a bitch unless I'm paid to fight you. I'm not paid to fight you. So Newport, shout out to him. Wait till he get out of jail. But it went to Clubhouse. And I didn't like that. I was so irritated because it's like... With the situation you being yeah, there in like, the Clubhouse? Yeah, because she couldn't stop talking about me on Clubhouse before I ever started trolling her. And I was just so fucking irritated. Just so irritated. <laughs> so I finally come in the room because I'm never on... If you go look at my Clubhouse, I got like maybe 200 followers, 300. Because I don't be on there. Like, yeah, I barely be on there. Yeah, I be on there like when like the group is on there, like the can cast. Can you agree? It's hard to get it's into hard to club. Keep up. Yeah, to keep up with Clubhouse. Like, mm-hmm. Clubhouse not my playground like that. It's not really even hard. Twitter my playground. I've been fucking with Twitter recently. Uh, yes, X, they call it X now. Instagram. You need to get on um, on X on Twitter because they, they paying bitches over there too. You can monetize your platform, okay. post on there, post them little sexy ass pictures you be posting on mm-hmm. there. They gonna... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you but I mean? long story short, you feel me? Like, when I told her, I said, bitch, you left the show because you was mad because of me or because of Bila, whichever one it was. Mm-hmm. She told me it was too many ops in one room. It was too many ops that was going to be on the show. So that's why I wanted to ask you that question because I was confused. Because if you was her homegirl, how you, like, you know, mm-hmm. I was just confused. Like, you feel me? I was confused. That's why I didn't believe it or nothing. I'll never let my homegirls just run face back to back. I'm not like that. As you shouldn't. I'm not. It could be a friendly. It could be just be like, you know, just, I fuck with you. So you would have had her back. I fuck with you, but I would never let my homegirls run face back to back. But my thing is. Not even ones that I fuck, like I don't fuck with. Like, I can't. But win, lose, or draw, you would have had her back. Yeah. Exactly. Like, you know. I would have had her back in the house. And sometimes some bitches need to know that. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Before they say things. They need to know that because I was sitting here confused before I seen the shit with, uh, after I seen the shit with you and Knuckles and you was saying that you was, you all was cool. Mm -hmm. I'm like, sometimes I catch myself being a supporter or a fan too, like watching it because I'm blogging. I was confused because I'm like, oh, do she fuck with her? Like, I do. What's the, you know, what what is that? My loyalty towards where we from, my my loyalty is going to ride like that. Because I'll never be on the show and, like, my homies be like, you let her get beat up. Because you're not supposed to. Like, never. You're not supposed to. I don't care if it's a girl that don't get banged. Like, I can never just, even if my homegirl do lose, like, hell no, I need that. You know, and I fuck with that. You Mm -hmm. feel me? I fuck with that. That's real bitch shit. Thank you. I fuck with that. Okay. So, off that, Mm -hmm. into this mean girl shit. Mm hmm. 
into this mean girl shit. So Kayla, I wish Kayla was here, but I am going to be interviewing Kayla very soon. Okay, I'm getting it together with Kayla. So into this mean girl shit. So we, y'all are funny. <laughs> what they say? Let me see. They said something. My mic gonna get you now for saying that. <laughs> My mic gonna get who? Y'all are crazy. Ain't nobody gonna get shit. Trying to look at the rug. Trying to look at the. What's up? What's up the rug? Don't don't get don't let them troll us. Okay. <laughs> don't let them troll us. Okay. What happened? So when you came in the house, mm-hmm. you came in with no beef. No beef. Don't know nobody. No Don't beef. know nobody. No beef with nobody. You was looking for, like, you know, you knew was, you was going to have to was, fight, though, right? Yeah, I knew I had to fight somebody. I was peeping the scenery. Like, I was trying to, like, you know, because, you know, my bookie, like, she's a girl's girl. Like, she really did it for, like, you know, the platform, but she really did, like, fuck it. Like, you want to do it? Let's do it together. I feel like shit. Kayla, I feel like you the you the hood little pretty bitch, uh-huh. and then Kayla, like, the little... A little sassy little yeah, bitch like she don't girl. she don't want to do and she i don't... get pressure up when somebody try to try her like i i'll I be feeling some type of way like don't because you do was her. like she not fighting no more <laughs> i was like now nah, that right there i don't get that's I, that's what i wish a bitch would have did to me when they see my hand was hurting and shit mm-hmm. like she not i got this no she ain't fighting no it. more instead of going to hit the little bitches and no, shit I you know that. she ain't fighting i don't give a fuck if you bitches jump me on my mama and she's standing right there i don't give a fuck at least she got in the first round like oh my mama. i don't i don't know I'm just that home girl. Like if you like you feel like you can't hang, or even if I lost shit, fuck it, I might beat this bitch up. You, you didn't you didn't beat her up, I might be able to beat her up. Period. Oh um, mama, so fuck it. Like and when they said they was gonna jump me, I did not hear that during the fight. You know when you fight, you don't mm-hmm. hear certain shit. I never heard that. Like So I when you watched that. that on TV and you seen that they was they said they that was gonna jump you, and. you was like, What? That shit had me and I'm like, oh we I can't wait. I wanna get jumped now. You wanna no get shade. jumped like, girl, you both I don't wanna get no jumped. Shade. I wanna get they jumped. They don't pay enough for me to get jumped. I mm-hmm. know they not the people that I fuck with, I really got like jazz, I really got history with her. So mm-hmm. I know for sure and Kayla not finna let y'all, but I just wanna see like I wanna see if y'all can really like do it. If like, y'all really gonna do the yeah, damn yeah, thing. Yeah, like stand on it. You gonna jump me, stand on it. You set that on TV, stand on it. I want to get jumped now. I want y'all to try to jump me now. At least that maybe that sound better. Oh my god! <laughs> so it's not over. It's not. I don't like the confessions and. So who's dog confessional? Food and what yeah, who's fuck? confessional? Just really grinded your gears. Them, the part, the pretty Johns. Them, y'all don't even know them. They follow. I know the pretty Johns. I know they, the pretty Johns. No, she don't. Yes, I do know no, them. No, she don't. <laughs> Yes, I do. Don't get me in y'all shit. <laughs> I got my own shit. <laughs> nah, but I didn't. I didn't think that you and the Pretty Johns. I didn't think you I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that coming either. But when they, when I heard that, cause it's like we got dressed, we went downstairs, we made a TikTok with the paw prints, and then they was like, after we made the TikTok, after we made the TikTok, they was like, y'all ain't heard. We like heard what? They was like, the Pretty Johns looking for y'all. I'm like looking for us. What they want? She's like, they want to fight you. I guess y'all wrote something in the book. I'm like, did y'all write something in the book? We just got there. So did y'all ever see this written stuff in the book? We we eventually seen it when we got to the house, but we literally just got there. Like when when we popped up to the photo shoot, and then we went to like where the um, train to go, um, the TTGs and the um, the ill twins where they fought in that little studio. Mm-hmm. We just got there, like literally, like sitting down with everybody and like chopping it up. So we didn't know what the fuck was going on. Then we went to the hotel because I guess they was already kicked out the house. So would you say that somebody wrote in the book pretending to be y'all? I could say, yeah, because they added, like, hot to it. We the only It hot. wasn't neither one of you guys' um, I swear to God, we did not write that shit. So, we didn't even see the book yet. We don't even know y'all to say go home. I guess somebody wrote in the book and said y'all need to go back home. We don't even know y'all yet. Who has the book right now? I don't... I, maybe Isaiah... Isaiah, I'm gonna be calling you because the Liddy Show is doing an investigation now yep, on who the fuck wrote know. in this book. And the I'm crazy gonna get part, your handwriting and I'm gonna get Kayla handwriting. And if y'all innocent, we innocent. Y'all, y'all innocent. Right hand on the Bible, I'm innocent. On your soul, but on my soul. But I'm gonna fight because I'm gonna fight first and tell you after I didn't write that because don't ever call me out on TV. Or ever make no, it seem like you're you. looking for me. Because I'm going to give you what you Y'all was for. set up. They got y'all. No, nah, but the crazy <laughs> part is now, like, free my girl Bila. The crazy part is now that Bila is in jail. Everybody's trying to blame it on Bila. 
It was like, well, now that y'all, you know, like, well, woo through woo, be the brody. I'm like, if anybody got a, pre- a problem with Bila, I'm running behind that too. So, yeah. So I'm a like, free damn, Bila. what the fuck? Why y'all want to blame her when she go to jail? Now I look suspicious. Why y'all did? Why y'all waited to? Why y'all didn't say it to be the face? Yeah, like like that type shit. And that's why I was like, let me damn. stop. I'm just the interviewer. Let me. I'm getting. See, I'm getting in the shit now. I'm, I'm getting in the shit. You know. But, but that's funny, so they blaming Bila. Mm-hmm. Bila, 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 your messy ass. But if, I don't know if y'all peeped last episode. Bila was like, what, whoever wrote in the book, them bitches did it. I don't know if y'all peeped it. When she was fighting the paw print, she was like, them bitches did it. So it's like, I don't, we don't know who did it. Like everybody. So she be said, like, Bila said the paw prints did it. Yeah. I gotta go rewatch that. I didn't catch that. Yeah, Bila said, whoever wrote something in the book, them paw prints. I'm gonna need y'all, um, Y'all handwriting too. Can y'all please submit y'all handwriting to the Liddy Show at gmail.com? I need y'all handwriting too. We doing a full investigation yeah, on this shit. That's why Roger Asia fought again in the episode. She threw the phone because somebody wrote in the book and she didn't, Roger didn't even write it in the book. I feel like the whole, the whole burn book shit, I feel like it's a hoax. And I feel like that burn book is y'all it set was up. It's messy, yes, but <laughs> I was writing my name on shit. I wasn't scared. Like, on God, right. you can read my shit with my name on it. I said it. I would have been writing in that book. I ain't gonna lie. I would have been writing in that book, putting anonymous too. I'd have had all you hosts fighting. Y'all lucky. Y'all, y'all lucky. Y'all left. <laughs> y'all lucky. I y'all like left. If they would have gave Barbie time too, Barbie would have wrote in that motherfucker too, starting up some Barbie shit. probably did write in that motherfucker. <laughs> Barbie, you never know. Barbie would have probably, probably told wrote on it over, over the phone. She probably like write this. No, that she Barbie probably had people write in the book for her, and they ain't gonna say nothing. Speaking Ooh. of Barbie, speaking of Barbie. Mm-hmm. Who did you who did you like better as a host, Barbie or Pressure? I like Barbie. I love Barbie as a host. Yeah. Yeah, I like how she stir up the pot and then she'll get caught red handed and she'll be like, Well, I don't know. Y'all be just boring. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you feel cold. That's Barbie for you. Barbie like was you stirring cold. that shit up. Oh my god, she stirred that motherfucker up. I didn't really get to experience um pressure because she had left after um the little warehouse fight with the um, ill twins and the train of ghost sisters. Mm-hmm. So she left because I guess she got into it with. What the was Ill the twins. rumors in the house around that? That she was scared of the um, of, the, of Hillary, basically Hillary, because Hillary was on her more than um, Jill was. Because mm. Hillary felt some type of way how she was trying to uh, be funny during the fight. Mm, Hillary, Hillary was a bad bitch. I like Hillary. Hillary and the other girl. Them bitches was bad as fuck. They had some big old booties too. Mm-hmm. Them bitches. When I walked in, I seen that bitch. Uh, yeah, what's, what's the other one with Hillary? I liked her. Jill. Jill. Jill, Jill like was Jill walking too. around that motherfucker asshole that smell naked and everything. Jill body like cold. Mm-hmm. Jill body cold. Jill body cold. Shout out to Jill. Yeah, can y'all come to the Liddy show? I want y'all to come to the Liddy show. Here. Oh God, them bitches is bad. I mm-hmm. seen them bitches. I'm like, why they on this show? I like that. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard they like to get on the um, Deja Vu. They had posted on Instagram that um, Tilo said they they got a better show for them, like a show that's fit for them. I heard the fuck out of that. Mm-hmm. Tilo, you stop playing with me, cause putting everybody on better shows, <laughs> giving me the bullshit. But enough of that. Better show. No, I love Isaiah it. shows though. So, I would never do South Central. No shade. You would never do South Central bodies? No shade. Mm-hmm. Why? Because I ain't finna be in that house. I want to look cute, too. Like I feel you. No shade. You see me crying at the yeah, photo like, shoot? Like, you felt my cute. pain. Don't lie. I felt lie. your pain. Oh, my mama. Like, I'm not finna go in there. I just had a fight. I want my <laughs> hair done. Like, no. Like, hell no. I want my hair done. Like, I'm girl, at least some makeup. Yeah. Like, something. Make me feel beautiful. Like, everybody looking cute. Everybody got to do their makeup while I was getting fighting and shit. Hell no. I don't want to be in that house fighting all day. Like, I get so it. So no season five for you? Hell no. no they don't sign me up for shit. And I know y'all going to set me up. Hell no. They're going to try to set me up. You'd rather just take your burn book. I'd rather right? take my burn book or another show. <laughs> Put me on another show. <laughs> I ain't finna do that. I, y'all program. That's 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 men. That's, that's County Men Jail. Central right there. Men's, you calling it Men Central? <laughs> What? I was calling Y'all it child chiller. Y'all up in there really like fighting, like no sleep. I was getting no sleep in the mean girl's house, but like it seemed like everybody would fight and then like it's all right, it's over with. Like we either gonna fight again or you cool, like type shit. Like 
Everybody wanted to be cute. Everybody wanted to get their camera Kane. time. Mm-hmm. Nobody really wanted to keep fighting. And I can say that for everybody. Nobody wanted to keep fighting. Everybody wanted to, to be about something other than fighting. Like, yeah, we'll fight, but we can get past this shit. We can get past the shit. That's grown mm-hmm. woman shit, though. A lot of bitches ain't grown. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And a, a lot, lot of the girls on the show was older. Like, it was nobody really, like, young. I think do I think... Draco Duo was young, but everybody was like older, like type shit. Nobody was really like young on some immature shit. Period. Period. That's mm-hmm. dope. That's dope. So your overall experience on being on the Mean Girl show, you liked it? Yeah, I loved it. That's dope. I loved it. So, what's up with this reunion? It's gonna be lit. I plan on acting ass. Do you have like a, a hit list? Nah, I ain't got no hit list. No hit list. Nah, I'm you just, just hitting shit. You just hitting shit. Yeah. Just hitting shit. Hitting shit. Hitting shit. I ain't got no hit list. I know who I want. Who you want? I want both of the Pretty Johns. You want both of them? Mm Mm-hmm. I really don't like that you and Pretty Johns is at it. We could squash it after, but I want to fight both of y'all. Okay. I love that. So Mm -hmm. you could fight, and then after you fight, like, you can network and get some money with the bitches. Because you know you can get some money with them bitches. Y'all can get some money together, like. We got different lanes, but yeah. I mean, y'all both on the same show. Mm -hmm. Meet and greets. The book is going up. Yeah, we can do all the time. Club hostings, you feel me? Yeah, I just want to (laughs) fight. And then we can get past it. They sure already know that about me. Like, just how I What do Kayla want to do? Kayla want to fight, too? Kayla want to fight. She want her lick back. I her need Kayla. She want her ponytail. She want that lick back. For her pony. Oh, God. <laughs> and she, yeah, like, <laughs> she felt like she on grass. So she plan on acting ass, and I plan on acting ass with her. So what's this with Kayla and Pressure? I really don't know, because the show got to finish. But... They, my friend, she, she a part of the, you know, she know the 304 little lane and she got, the, like, it's not really T cause it's like, if you part of that lane, you know what's up. And they got the same like type, her best friend know her type shit. And it's basically like, stop making it seem like you just top notch when you in the same lane as us type shit. Well, I heard a story, right? Mm-hmm. I heard a story about a casino. Yeah. Did somebody see somebody in a casino. Uh, I think it was Kayla's best friend, see her in the casino. What casino? I don't know what casino. It was in Vegas? It was in Vegas, and she was in the casino. So that's why, because Kenzie had wrote on a post yesterday when she was going in on me talking about some Liddy. If you want to find pressure, they go, go to, to the, the casino. casino. I was like, why do they know she be in a casino? Mm-hmm. She even told us she was like, she be, what? She be getting her No, she, one thing I'm going to say, the bitch get money, mm-hmm. and she do her shit. I give her that. I give her that. Like, the bitch get money, and she do her shit. She just said, hey. There you go, working at ET again. <laughs> she's just the evil person, though. You know, yeah. she's just the evil person. Yeah, like, I don't you know, like that. I don't, I don't, some I'm of the girls Aries too, but I don't understand. My I mean, mama's an Aries. But April I don't 5th. know that I'm April 11, y'all. Period. Big Aries. But I don't know. I don't like the way she go about stuff type shit. You like, it's like, you grown as fuck. You with your cousin for... <laughs> like, that was supposed, y'all was supposed to handle that over the phone. I feel like... I mean, because when I get into it, my cousin, they either be on the phone or we going to meet up at Granny House. We either going to fight and scratch it out or we going to talk about it. Yeah, see, that's the difference. I was <clears throat> I was raised at her Granny House. She mm-hmm. wasn't raised there. Oh. Yeah, so, so that's just the difference, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, it'd be like that. But I learned the lesson. I learned the lesson. Mm-hmm. Like, if if I ain't see you at Granny House, at none of the Granny's houses, none of the great auntie's houses, you you a green light. You get the fuck the one <laughs> one one time I feel some weird shit. I'm socking you in your throat. Like mm-hmm. I'm over it. So like so, when did y'all knew y'all was cousins? Like um her sister hit me yeah, before the way before the show. Her sister hit me up mm-hmm. and told me that this was her cousin, my cousin. I'm like, that's your sister? Because I already knew that she had a cousin I had a cousin that was in jail for a long time. Mm-hmm. Cause her daddy and her people, like, I really fucked with them. Like my mama is her daddy's first cousin. Mm-hmm. My granny and her granny are sisters. Okay, I get it. Close sisters, though. Like, like, day like, one, day like, one sisters. I go blood outside, sister. you go outside. Exactly. Your kids come to my house to spend a night type shit. So, you know, shit like that get passed from generations to generations. Mm-hmm. But she was never there. Like, because she was in jail. You no, know, because she started hoeing at like 12 or 13. Mm-hmm. So she was never there. 
she was outside doing her. And it's nothing wrong. I love a get money ass bitch. You mm-hmm. feel me? But, you know, I had a little more shelter and protection. I feel you. I feel you sure. know? And when I went to jail as a minor, it was no hoe cases. Yeah, me either. You know, I got a record. 211 yeah. assault type shit. Mm-hmm. Like, you know. But it be like that. So I'm going to open up these phone lines real quick. Real quick, real quick, because we're going to have to get out the studio in a minute. I'm going to open up the studio. Don't make me mad on this phone. All right, y'all. I'm about to open up the phone lines, okay? Don't don't make me mad on this line. Let's be a girl's girl. Girl, they already started calling. Let me see if I could. uh, Let me see if it's going to work this time for me. Let's read these comments. So the number for the call line, 213-536-1152. 213-536-1152. Let's go. <laughs> Hi, Buki. It's still doing this user busy shit. I'm staying for two calls. Don't disappoint me. I want the tea. What tea I want? I'm going to give it to y'all. Yeah, I'm going to need a phone again. I don't know why it's doing that. Y'all broke my call line. Who's Bala? Bala is a part of the train to go duo. How you know with twelve K followers? How know what? All right, y'all. I'm calling y'all back. It's going up. I don't know why my call line is broke. No shit. This the big Liddy and I'm calling you back. What's the deal? Oh, this your answer machine? Ah, you missed the call from Liddy. Maybe next time you'll pick up the phone. Bye bye now. <laughs> that was somebody voicemail. Oh, we got some three two three numbers calling in. I'm about to call that number back. That's somebody know you. Oh. See I'm what? hanging up. <laughs> Hello? This Big Liddy and I'm calling you back. Period. Big Liddy, Big Liddy. If you want to say, come and get it. I'm like, so. I'm like, so. What's the deal? So, I'm you got so. something to say or you got some questions for winter? What's up? Uh, I got something to say. I want to promote my friend's brand, Tropical Strips. She got lashes on hand. And okay. yeah, so go shop. Right, Period. Go you go did shop, that. Yeah. You did that. Period. Where I'm you right calling there. from? LA. Hey, period, yeah. period. LA in the building. What's your name? Ayana. Ayana, period, period. Thank you for calling in. Okay, bye. Hey, I like that. I like that. She a dope oh, God. ass friend. She a dope ass friend. She's just like me. Whoever is her friend, you need to really fuck with her because she fuck with you. She didn't ask me shit. She just she promoted you. You oh better my get shit. her a big birthday gift. Oh, God, you better. Yeah. Or you going to get the fade. I'm just playing. <laughs> All right, two one five. Thank you. Five, four, three, four. Mm-hmm. I like winter more now. Thank you. They see a different side of you. They yeah, like, I like, I like that. that. Thank you guys. I fuck with it. Hello. This big lady, and I'm calling you back. Period, bitch. Oh my God. <laughs> winter, are you winter? Big you're so lady, big oh, lady. Oh, thank you. you I'm nervous, say, y'all. <laughs> period. Oh, my God. So yes. you got something to say, or you got a question for winter? Winter, pretty as fuck. Oh, girl. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's crazy, girl. I work at a school, and my students be talking about big lady, big lady. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what school? Shout them oh. out. No, I just want to say I love you, girl. You are so beautiful. We love you out here. And Philly, you know, period. On my soul. Period. (laughs) Philly in the building. What's your name? 
Autumn. 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 Thank you for calling in. Okay, y'all. Y'all, I want y'all to um, I want y'all to catch winter up, y'all. Y'all gotta ask her to see. <laughs> Who's still weak as fuck? They said you still weak as fuck. Leave you winter alone, y'all. You watched the whole interview though. <laughs> <laughs> it was really weak. <laughs> she said like you watched boy. the whole interview. It seemed like your boy Pookie. You having fun, huh? I Arguing am. with them. <laughs> I love to argue. I'm Aries, y'all. This what she came for, y'all. I swear Hello? I'm only reading the positive. This Big Lady and I'm calling you back. When big do we get you? What to say? Come and get it. Period. You got something to say or are you calling for winter? Oh, uh, shout out to you, Winter. You did your thing on Mean Girls. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you were lit, baby. But hold up. Yarla in the chat, yo. Yo, the looking asshole. Yarla Sims, she can eat a fat one on my soul. And she can catch us if she need it. Period. Wait, who? Yarla Sims and, and Noah Jackson, too. Noah Jackson can just smack. Oh, y'all in the comments. Noah Jackson. Yeah, in the comments talking about Bila. What's good? Yeah, we tell B and Libby oh. taking it face, so what's good? Oh, you talking about Bila Jackson? He on you. What's the deal? Yeah, we on you. Yeah, catch us in the chat. Yeah, we on that. Clock it. Clock it. Clock it. Clock it. Free Bila. Clock it. <laughs> Fuck is you talking hey, about? Hey, no disrespect, but we coming for that baby chain too. We gonna get that too. On my soul, on God in heaven. No, they lost the charm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about that after. Okay, I'm gonna talk about that after. Oh, I heard you, heard you, baby. But tell them if they want this fade, come and get it. If y'all want this fade, come and get it. Noah Jackson. Who else? Who and else? And Yardera. And Yardera, bitch. Yardera. Nut ass bitch. Nut ass bitch. Where you calling from? Two hundred three, Big Bill Willis Real. Big I Bill Will is real. Oh. He said what he said. He said what he Thank said you for that. calling in. Thank you, baby. Hey, they got chat beef and shit. They got chat beef. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> Where's Jackson at? Where's no Jackson at? Where you you ain't finna call the line? You need to get in the comments so we can call you. Yeah, Noah. Where you at? <laughs> Like, y'all mad? We didn't even see. We missed the whole. They must have had a whole little. <laughs> That's what we talking about. Okay. Like, what? That's what I'm talking about. Vila got supporters. Oh, God. He, like, you talking about Vila? Like, he, he free said, big fuck that. that. <laughs> I love you, lady, big lady. But, uh, uh no, big... Jackson. <laughs> yeah, nigga, you come get that. Nigga, I'm in the comments, nigga. <laughs> he said, nigga, I'm in the comments, nigga. I'm in the comments on the live chat on the Liddy show, nigga. <laughs> You want the I'm spade? Crying. Come and get it. <laughs> Welcome to your wireless carrier's voicemail. Your phone off. Three. Not you. Three, four, six. Okay. Dang, that just took that threw me off guard. I ain't gonna lie. That Noah Jackson. Off. That's why I said, wait, what? I had to look at the comments like, who? <laughs> I ain't seen them pop up yet. Listen, y'all, I'm calling y'all back from a blocked number. Y'all was blowing me up, and then when I call y'all back, y'all don't answer. This is comedy. It's funny as fuck, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? This Big Liddy, and I'm calling you back. Hey, big lady, big lady, big lady. If you want this pay, come and get it. <laughs> Hi. Baby, how old are you? Hi. I'm 16. 10, 11, 12, 1. It's 1 o'clock in the morning, but you 16. I'm going to give you a little bit of a pass. Where it's you... 10 o'clock where I live. Oh, where you come? Where you calling from? I'm from Vegas, baby. Oh, period. Oh. You from Vegas, baby. Shout out to high school. Oh, uh, I do online. I'm graduating this year. Oh, period. So you graduating early? Yes. Period. What's your name? My name is Harmony. Harmony, period, Harmony. All right. Well, you graduated early. I like that, okay? So I'm a, okay. I was I was going to hang up the phone, but I'm going to let you stay on the show tonight, all right? Okay. Okay, so you got <laughs> something to say or you got some um, questions for Winter? What's the deal? I got something to say and I got a question for Winter. Okay, what you doing first? Uh, I'm going to ask Winter her question. Okay, let me pass the phone. What's the deal? 
Hey, Winter. Hi. Oh, so you're very pretty and all, but Ooh. I don't like how you were commenting on the Sack sisters, um, how her sister didn't want to fight, but your friend couldn't fight. And why would you bring her on the show if she can't fight? That's kind of embarrassing. Okay, so first... <laughs> Wait, y'all, stop laughing. <laughs> okay, first of all, Kayla wanted to continue fighting, but I'm that friend. If I feel like you're doing too much or you trying to, if that one homegirl that fought my friend, if I feel like you're doing too much or you're too hyped, I'm going to want to fight you too. So say me and you right. fighting, and the girl that you just fought, she hyped and she doing all the most and still doing all of that, and I still got energy, I'm going to be like, well, bitch, fight me. I'm going to let my homegirl get a break. And once you're done fighting me, she probably want to fall back in again. So that's right. just how it went like that. And basically what Kayla was saying was she don't wouldn't care if she got beat up or if she would have won the fight. She would have still got in there. She would have never sat on the couch comfortable with the blanket wrapped up in it just watching me fight. She would either have stood up or she either would have been told the other girl, what's up, type shit. It's, right, a, right. it's a dual show, so I feel like... If one duo fighting, why the other duo just sitting there? But I personally feel like if um, Mama was playing fake cool with them, why should she need to get up and her sister wasn't getting dogged out? Yeah, but still... But this, everybody has their yeah, own Yeah, everybody, preference. yeah, pretty but much. But I fuck with you, girl. You're very pretty. I follow you on Instagram. I just had a question for you. Okay, thank you, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> she funny. <laughs> What's up, little girl? <laughs> um, Lydia, I've been watching you for three. I suck with you, and I like what you're doing. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't, I'm, I'm not trying to cuss, but yeah. Yeah, don't I cuss. I what you're doing. I support you, and yeah. Thank you, baby. And congratulations on graduating high school early, okay? Keep doing your thing. Okay, thank you so much for calling me back. Have a great night. You too. She funny. Girl, she, had the tea, she got, she got, she, 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 had she, the tea. she put me on the spot. Yeah, she did. She did I've been waiting. I knew they was gonna do it to you. She I was waiting. I'm like, yo, <laughs> let me call, let me call I'm this just number that back. Home girl, y'all. I'm willing to catch. She that was like, why you, home. why you got her on the show? She can't fight. Like you, like you dragged her on the show. <laughs> <laughs> like you gotta get on the show right now. I didn't tell Kelly to get in that elevator and fight with me, y'all. She just followed pursuit. Hello. Oop. This big lady, and I'm calling you back. <laughs> um, I've been waiting for you. You've been looking for me? Yeah. Uh, what's your name, baby? Um, oh, no! Baby, I was supposed to come see you, right? You were supposed to pull up on me in Atlanta. <clears throat> but they ended up, I ended up changing my flight, but I'm coming back. I'm coming back. I got the number. I'm going to text your mommy. I'm, I got the number. I'm coming back. I promise. Okay. 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 You're going to have to send me your cash app. I got to save you some money. Okay. I miss you, Nick. Um, no. Do you know, um... Um, I'm looking on TV, and you on TV. Aww. I love you, Nook, but you know you got to go to bed. Yeah, I got you. I got you. You what? Yeah, I was about to. You about to? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay, because you don't want the fade, Nook. When I got funny, come get it. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, baby. Yeah. Tell your mama I'm a hitter. Thank okay. you. This nigga Nook gets Aww, thrown they love this. on so the <laughs> on the callback though. So Nook okay. is a little baby that be calling the show all the time. Aww. Like I I like we Nook. Love you. Yes, he do. Ooh, that's my that's baby. Cute. That was cute. We had two babies on the show. Y'all put your kids to bed. Well, I, I be cussing on this show. <laughs> Why is they watching me? Today. These kids is up late night watching the Liddy show. They like, dang, she got one take. Jay in the building. Liddy cracking. Next color, next color. I'm gonna call this 323 three, number two back after Hello? this. This big Liddy and a girl, I'm calling you back. 
Oh, what's up, big ladies? What's Where are you calling from? I'm Amy calling from North Carolina. What's up, big ladies? Period. What was your name? AV. AV. So you got a question for winter, or you just got something yes, to say? I do. Yes, yes, I do got a question. Okay, let me winter. pass the phone. Let me pass the phone. Okay. okay. Check it out. What's up, winter? What's the deal? What's up, winter? Yes, AV. So, okay, so okay. when y'all called that meeting, y'all called that meeting in the show about everybody being dirty, who was dirty in the house? I didn't smell nobody in the house, y'all. I did not personally smell nobody in the house stinking. I think that no. was the the first night at the house when they was talking about that at Chick-fil-A. I wasn't there at the house. So I don't know what they smelled or who they smelled it from. But I ain't smell nothing, y'all. I ain't smell nothing. Damn, yeah, that's all I got for you, but you sexy nose. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. And I have a question for Liddy. Mm -hmm. What's the deal? Liddy, so if it seems like you and Pressure are going to get in a ring, like in a boxing match or something? No, I wanted that bitch last night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. You know, hopefully, all can be well with you too because you know, I mean, I turn do around, y'all. Joe the Vegas and people back. Will be using you as a bodyguard. I mean, possibly. It's all alleged. You know? It's cool. I mean, yeah. you know, Bigfoot, do sure do her shit. You know. Okay, Assalamu alaikum. No oink for me. <laughs> <laughs> I love y'all. That's all I had to ask. Thank you for calling in. Thank y'all. I love y'all. I love you too. All right, I'm going to call one more call for you, and then I'm going to do my closing remarks. Okay. You want a local number, or you want an out-of-state number? I'm going to call back. I'm looking at the list. Local or out-of-state? You can go local. Okay, okay. because I got one right here. Local. What y'all got to say? They not playing with you, in it. <laughs> little little sixteen year old baby wasn't playing at all. She, she wasn't wanted... playing. She put me on the spot. She did that. Yeah, she did. She did that. With her little smart ass up late at night watching the damn Liddy show. <laughs> Y'all. Uh oh. Who's it gonna be? You think it's gonna be some love or what? Hello. This big Liddy girl, and I'm calling you back. Wake up. Hi, Liddy. Hi, baby mama. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Baby I mama, me. I tomorrow just so I could get <laughs> Wait, you did what? Oh, y'all be taking off work. You did? What did you do? I took the day off of work tomorrow, baby mama, just so I could set my alarm to wake up and call you. Oh, That's my crazy. God. Period. I'm fucking with you. And you asked her... Should I call a local number or an out-of-state number? And when you said 323, three, I'm like, that's me, baby mama. But even though it's 323, three, I'm not at home in L.A. right now. I'm in North Carolina. I just wanted you to hear my voice because I'm going to make this a normal routine to call you every Monday. I do not have a question for winter. I'm sorry. I just want to tell you, keep doing your thing, Liddy. Less than like three months ago. I was homeless. I didn't get kicked out or nothing. I just went on my own little adventure living in my car. But your TV show has gotten me through it. Watching you on Netflix, uh, watching you on YouTube has really helped. A lot of people don't know, like, your backstory. I suggest everybody really do their research on Liddy because she is absolutely more than South Central baddies. That's for fucking sure. Please look her up. Figure out her story. Show her support. Subscribe to her YouTube. Follow her on Instagram. Oh, Liddy, you are my future baby that. mama. You don't know it yet, but I we're going to be big. You. Thank you. I'm all emotional. I love that. <laughs> you crying. Yeah, yeah. 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 Really I love that for you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for calling me back. Okay. Oh, sad. Somebody get her some tissue. Um, we need some tissue, y'all. That was that was that that made me that made me a little emotional just then. <laughs> that just made me a little emotional. She did that with that card. No, she did. She, she did. did. What I was gonna ask you though before I gave my closing remarks was, 
I see that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Why y'all let this bitch do it? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I seen that. But what I was gonna ask you was, okay. Hmm. Now you see, I had a few young callers call in, right? Uh huh. Now you see that 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 sixteen year old girl, she was on you. Mm -hmm. She was on you. How do you feel about the youth from your community? And I mean your community in particular, nationwide, that's, it all falls in, but the youth from your community watching Winter on TV. How I feel about it? How you feel about it? I, this is what I act like, this is what I love, I want it. Like, I knew I was ready for this shit. Like, I could take, you could throw whatever you could throw, and throw it, I could catch it. Um, you could, it could be good shit, it could be negative shit. I'm gonna take it all in. Cause I, it's probably some shit that y'all see where I could probably fix and shit. I might fix the shit or shit. Fuck y'all. Period. And do you have a message that you want to give to them? Whatever y'all want, go get it. Like, it's not hard. Like, everybody got dope personalities. Like, I'm glad to have it. Like, he couldn't, like, I got picked. It could have been anybody else that got picked. You know, God, and I love that for me. Cause... Period. It's me. He like, what? <laughs> it's me. Like, Period. yeah, I got picked. I only tried, I tried. My first try, I got picked. I got heaven. Period. Period. Like, Shay, I got picked first. I it was that. Because you it know was what? Meant to be, like, exactly. I was just about to say it that. Was it was meant, meant for, me. for you. And what's for you is for you. I'm on other shit now. Like, I'm really trying to, like, push it for my people that that want to do it, like, it's easy as fuck on God in heaven. Like, I'm going to motivate them. Like, if you want to do it, do it. Like, I'll help you push you through the door, shit, on God in heaven. Period. Well, just to let you know, here on The Liddy Show, we are giving out a prom dress, like a custom prom dress mm -hmm. um, for someone, you know, a, a young girl in high school in L.A. County. Okay. Um, I've gotten, like, maybe, like, a few people tap in but I don't know if everybody act in a certain type of way, like they scared. But I brought the fashion designer here from Chicago. Mm -hmm. So if you know a family or you know somebody, nominate somebody for me because okay. I want to make that happen. You feel me? You from South Central, I'm from South Central. Help me make that happen. I nominate my sisters back there. You could buy him a dress. <laughs> you got money. <laughs> But they on Liddy no, shit. I got you. Period. 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 Shit, so, period, yeah. period. So they can step. They in, in high school. Yeah. Oh, y'all didn't tell me that. <laughs> Why y'all quiet back there? Why y'all quiet now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all on the spot. We got the real Liddy babies in the building. <laughs> I'm on here talking about 16 year olds. You got yeah. them in the building. <laughs> Put them on there. No. Period. And shout out to you. Thank um, you. I appreciate you for coming through because thank you for as I was me. peeping at the comments, people got to know a different side of you. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And like I told you before, that's the goal here. I want people to see a different side of us. You come Period. from the same shit I come from. You feel yep. me? So I want them to see a different side of us and let them know that out here in South Central, we are chasing our dreams. I'm chasing Like you just hard. said, this is what you wanted to do. Mm -hmm. You chasing your dream. So we chasing our dreams. We out here trying to build the foundation and we trying to, we trying to you know, leave this I'm bitch with our own our empire. Promo coming in. I'm trying to get the all of that. Ends. I'm trying to get all of that. I, all of that. I believe I can take that on. And it no, you I will. You that. will. You I'm going to. Like, you will. Stepping in them rooms. Here I come. Period. Now, Winter, I'm gonna mm -hmm. kick you off my couch real quick because I don't want you to be in a messy shit. Okay, okay, okay. Let me go. Let me go. Let me Thank y'all, Winter, for coming. I'm about to give y'all. I'm about. He he on E.T. ass. Okay, you guys. I'm gonna make this real quick. I'm gonna make this real quick and simple for you guys because I know you guys are. You guys are calling in about the tea. You guys are in my comments about what's going on and why it has went on and things like that. So I'm gonna give you guys a synopsis. I don't even know if I said that word right, but I'm gonna give you guys just the the gist of what's going on. Quiet on set just for a little bit. Hey. Sorry, y'all. Y'all know South Central shit. We got Frenchies and shit. But I'm going to give y'all just a little gist of, you know, of what's going on. And come sit down. 
I'm gonna give y'all gist of what's going on and why it's going on, okay? Um, first and foremost, with Bigfoot, I don't know why she's mad. Um, she DM me after. She DM me after she. Kane, come here. Hey, my dog do not like ET. Hold that thought. Cocaine, get over here now. <laughs> Come here. You just like them fans of hers. Don't like her. Come here. Oh, he on her. Stop rolling him up. I gotta close this shit. Okay. My bad, you guys. My bad, you guys. My bad, you guys. So back to the Bigfoot Bandit. So this shit between me and my cousin, and Pressure is definitely my blood cousin. And I'm gonna be very transparent with y'all. I'm gonna be very honest with y'all. Um, she said a lot of things about my family, which is her family too, that are untrue. But it's okay. It's okay. Because that's the type of person she is. Pressure is very evil. And she plays manipulation games. Um, when she was in prison, they was punking on her a lot. She wasn't like, you know, she wasn't, you know, big macho or nothing like that. So she learned a lot of manipulation games. So she wants to hit me up and say that I started it. And I didn't do anything to her. As far as her trying to be mad about this reunion, that's, that's fake as fuck. She's not mad. She's not mad about that. <clears throat> She's mad that she started that weak ass show and the page only has 1,500 followers. She's mad that that song ain't never gonna get dropped. And if she dropped that shit, I'ma own that bitch name and everything that she got. Um, she's mad because she wants to be above everybody and ain't nobody above me but God. Pressure wanted me to follow her. I'm, I'm not following that bitch. So, Pressure wanted to go on social media and defame me for clout. Pressure wanted me and her sister, Bossy, and Bossy, here you go. Pressure wanted me and her sister, Bossy, to fight. That was her, her objective so that she can get her and her sister on TV so she can mend that relationship between her and her blood sister. Her sister, Bossy, hit me up and said a bunch of shit, but basically the things that Bossy said was a lie. Um, Bossy was on the phone with me and Quasha, and Quasha is my ROD, and there were no fades for call. Bossy ain't never called no fade for me. Um, so Bossy and Toxic all on the live talking about my child. They don't know me. They don't know me. They don't know me. None of them know me. Pressure don't even know me. The things that Pressure said about my daughter were disgusting. The things she said about my mother were disgusting. The things she said about my family in general were disgusting because this is her family too. So to you girls that are on that show that she has, just know this is the type of person that y'all dealing with. Me, I'm a very supportive person. I'ma support, I'm support my nigga if he wanna sell crack. Who you think gonna go buy it? You feel me? That's the type of person I am. Like, if I had a nigga right now who wanted to motherfucking put out Whatever it was he wanted to put out, Libby gonna do that. And it's the same thing with my family. It's the same thing with my family. I didn't have to get that bitch no verse. Bitch, I charge for verses, bitch. I didn't have to give you no feature, bitch. I didn't have to promote with you, bitch. I didn't have to go on no show with you, bitch. Bitch, your sister Shaisha hit me up, bitch. I didn't want to be nothing with none of you hoes. And that's why I said I was never on no bitch team, because I'm still not. I'm still not. I'm not on none of you hoes teams. Bigfoot included, bitch. So all of that shit you was talking and you didn't come outside, bitch. You weird for that. You weird for that. Because it was family outside. And you don't want to address us. My cousin Kiki gonna fuck you up if you say anything else about me, bitch. Leave me alone. Keep my name, my daughter name, and all of that out your motherfucking mouth. I don't want no apology from you, bitch. You are not my family. And any of my cousins on my mama's side that's watching this shit, if y'all cool with her, I'm squabbling you too. I don't care. Because y'all should tame that bitch. And if y'all not gonna tame that bitch, 
then I don't know what to tell y'all. I don't know what to tell y'all. Pressure is disgusting. I love her daddy. Rest in peace, little Jap. I love him. And a lot of people in my family gonna get mad that I'm even bringing it up, but I love him. Pressure granny pretty much raised me and my granny's kids, but her granny never raised her. I spent more time with her grandmother than she did. I spent more time with her aunties than she did. We don't know you, bitch, but we was welcoming to loving you. And you fucked up, and you gonna get fucked up real soon. When I catch you, if Kiki catch you, if Kima catch you, if any of us catch you, we fucking you up. And that's that. You need to apologize to Bossy and Toxic because you told me that you felt like they were responsible for your father's death. And you wrong for that. You wrong for that. You're an evil person. Now, to everybody want to talk about is my daughter in foster care. My daughter ain't in no motherfucking foster care. I was the one in foster care growing up. And I said that on Now That's TV. And I have no problem saying that. Yes, I was in juvenile hall. Yes, I was in foster care. And it didn't break me. It made me. It made me into the dominant individual that I am right now. Now, with that being said, that bitch gonna end up in foster care fucking with me. Okay? She ain't living right. She not living right. Clean your own background, backyard up, before you start fucking with me. Because I'm gonna take it there with you because you're no longer family to me. I don't look at you like that, bitch. Don't hit me up. Don't say nothing to me. If you have anything else that you want to say, if your fucking supporters got anything they want to say, bitch, you're not going to have no food stamps no more. I promise you. And bitch, shit. Every bitch like food stamps. So keep playing with me. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not the one, the two, maybe the three. But I'm never that. Now, the last thing that I am going to address, I did not key her car. Her car was already keyed because she's evil and she was fucking somebody nigga. And they came and they keyed her shit. That's what happened. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Like Shaggy said, it wasn't me. Wasn't me at all. My daughter has a loving mother and she has a loving father. And neither of us will let things get far as to where my daughter would have to go to foster care. Me and my baby daddy, we like regular other baby daddies and baby mamas. We don't like each other. But one thing we gonna do is we gonna fight for this baby. Even if we gotta fight each other, that's what's gonna happen. So, bitch, keep my baby name out your mouth. Keep my baby name out your mouth. Now, Ivory and Danye were supposed to be here today, and they didn't have to come on the couch. I just wanted her to give me the chain, and then if she wanted to fight, we was going to fight. I wanted to fight regardless. She already know that. I've been caught that fade out, but a lot of y'all are delusional. But I've been caught that. So I just wanted to, you know, get that out the way. I think Ivory is a sick bitch. You feel me? She's a sick bitch. Like, she's a very sick bitch. She has this persona that she has going on right now because of Jap. You feel me? Jap. Jap. And I'm not talking about Pressure Daddy. I'm talking about Mr. Activated that's in prison right now. She has this persona. When I um, found out she was a Jap, I was confused anyway because I was just with the real lady Jap, but that's another story. But I was confused anyway, so I guess she feel like she's bullying somebody, but she won't pull up. If I had Bree sitting on this couch, the bitch would pull up. Y'all know she hate Bree. Y'all know she hate Bree. So I don't understand it. We didn't have to fight on camera, and nobody was going to jump you. Nobody was going to jump you. Now, if somebody wanted to run you after because maybe they my daughter's sister, 
I mean, my daughter, my sister or, or a daughter's family member, that's on you because you did what you did. Now, all of these little, little games and this cat and mouse shit and all of that shit, I mean, it's fine. I mean, it's good. It's good. It's most definitely good. But just know when you see me, I'm on that. I feel like Ivory needs, now that's TV protection. Call your homies. Call your homies if you scared to pull up on me. My homies know your homies. I'm a fig side crit. Call your homies if you need your homies to meet up, if that's what you really want to do. Stop running around abusing Donye. You a street bitch. You from L.A., allegedly. Call your homies. I'll call mine. They're probably going to call me after this air. I'll call mine. We can do that. If you want to politic. But if you strictly want, now that's TV security, that's fine too. But they not in the streets. They not in the streets. Ivory don't want to link up with me, y'all, because Ivory know what time it is. Ivory know what time it is. And a lot of y'all saying Ivory is from a fuck you. I don't give a fuck where that bitch from. When I met Jap, he was in Vegas with Lady Jap, the real one, not Ivory. Ivory was in Lancaster, Las Vegas somewhere. I called in. They, don't, they, they ain't been around that girl like that. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. You know what? Let me see something. Donye, this Liddy, why y'all didn't pull up? <laughs> and that concludes the Liddy show. Y'all have a blessed night.